Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in thy sight. The Lord is in his holy temple, and all the earth keep silence before him. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Thanks unto thee, O Lord, with my whole heart, 
even before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship for the rest of the day, and praise thy name, because thou art kind and true. The gods stand for thy name, and thy word of all things. When I called upon thee, thou spurred me, and endurest my soul with much strength. the border of his garment, 
and immediately her issue of blood stepped. And Jesus said, Who touched me? And all the nine, Peter and they that were with him, said, Master, the multitude throng thee, and press thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue is going out of me. When the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling, and falling down before him, she declared unto him before all the people who had caused she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her daughter, Be of good comfort, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue, trouble not the master. But when Jesus heard it, he answered them, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. When he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John, and the father and mother of the baby. And all wept and bewailed her, and he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. And he commanded to give her meat. Her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Your end of the second letter. Let us stand and say together in unison the Deuteronomy. Oh, be joyful, the Lord, all ye lands.
neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy government, may be righteous in thy sight, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, the high and mighty ruler of the universe, who dost from thy throne behold all the dwellers upon earth, most heartily we beseech thee with the favor to behold and bless thy servant, the President of the United States, and all others in authority, and so replenish them with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, that they may always incline to do thy will and walk in thy way. And do them plentifully with heavenly gifts, granting them health and prosperity long to live. And finally, after this life, to obtain everlasting joy. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and the clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the helpful spirit of thy grace, that they may truly please thee, pour upon us the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant us, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, sins of men, that thou wilt be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, by saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church universal, that it be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led to the way of truth, and hold the faith and unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and the righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly witness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Together, in unison, the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all Christians, we are
Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.